next. But now let's turn to one of the funniest people on the planet, shall we? The great Carol Burnett. Get caught up with her at the NBCU For Your Consideration house, where Carol celebrated her recent special, Carol Burnett, 90 Years of Laughter and Love. And let me tell you, this lady is not slowing down. Do you have a side, Carol? Like yes. <laughs> Sharp as ever at 90, I had the pleasure of moderating the FYC event that had fans celebrating Carol's comedy, which was showcased week after week on The Carol Burnett Show. What do you remember about that very first episode? How terrified I was. Do I get nervous when we have to do... No. <laughs> they didn't have any faith in us. CBS didn't. They just thought we were going to do one season and that was it. But it went on for 11 seasons with Carol creating so many classic characters, and it's her clueless secretary, Mrs. Wiggins, that still gets me. The show's costume designer, Bob Mackey, played a part in how she moved. He put me in this tight skirt, yeah. and I said, Bob, I'm flat back there. You're going to have to take this skirt in. He said, no, stick your behind into the skirt, <laughs> and that's... Now the Wiggins walk. Huh? The Wiggins waddle is the best thing ever. I was at this freak show one time and I, I saw these Siamese elephants. My favorite was when Tim Conway would make everybody laugh. Yes. Do you have a favorite sketch where everybody broke? Uh, I think it was when we were playing Password and he got into the elephant story <laughs> and he wouldn't give up. Tim's long ad lib made for one hilarious unaired blooper, but it was Vicki Lawrence who one upped him. And she was mama, and finally I said, come on, mama, and she said, are you sure that little <laughs> is finished? <laughs> Go on, mama. <laughs> sure that little <laughs> <laughs> And it just tore the place apart. Carol is an icon, but get this, she never really dreamed of becoming a performer. As a kid, she wanted to be a journalist.